Okay, welcome uh, to my uh, SEO training module, or SEO is also known as uh, search engine optimization. And this is going to be, there's some, what they call online SEO tactics and some offline. Online is uh, things you can do to your website uh, to make it more presentable for Google. So Google will, will go and spider your, whatever page you're working on. And then you're trying to get it uh, indexed on that first page of Google or Bing or Yahoo uh, for the search results. If you're, if you're not on page one, you really don't exist for that keyword. So here's a couple of things in this video we're going to talk about when you build your page. Um, the first thing you want to do, of course, is have your keyword for whatever page or whatever key, uh, keyword you're going after. You're going to build a page around that keyword. So this is my static page. It's the page that if you type in uh, gdigeraldsmith.com up here, it'll. this is the first page that you'll see on my website, it's my static page. The keyword I chose was Global Domains International. The whole I spelled it right out, not just GDI. I noticed when I did some keyword research for GDI, there's some other companies that are, there's a software, and I think there's a forestry or something like that. I just didn't want there to be, I didn't want to target, um, I didn't want those prospects or those people that are looking for the, the other applications to, to see my website. Because they're not targeted prospects. So I've already built a page, and so I'm not going to sit here and build the entire page. But for for online SEO, these are tactics for doing online. You want to make sure that you have the all-in-one SEO pack installed, which we talked about. Down in here, this is just the title. Uh, and I always just put the keyword. That's all I ever stick in the title. I don't do anything else with it. Down here in the description, I put considering joining Global Domains International. Make sure your keyword comes up very early because most search engines use a maximum of 160 characters for the description. So anything that you have over 160, uh, like in other words, I've got 180, so like this back part here won't show up. So, so again, I'm trying to entice Anybody that sees this page or my results, I want them to click. Um, and I put join the right team will determine your success. Discover all the facts about this opportunity and see if it is right for you. So that's where you'll put your description, your keyword, and your title is going to be the keyword. You <clears throat> Up in here, the first thing you want to have is your keyword, which you'll notice from here is uh, whoops, my Global Domains International. See right there where I've kind of highlighted it. Um, you want it either an H1 or H2. <clears throat> so you'll notice if I click right here, see the H2 heading. So if, you, if you're going to make an H1 heading, all you do is just type in whatever word you want highlight it, come up here, and then just do header one. And But you want it at the very first, uh, this up here is called uh, authorship, which I'll go over later. Um, so don't worry about that for now. But you want your keyword uh, at the first of your page to be a G, uh, heading one or H2, H1 or H2. H1 is ideal. I just find it really fills up the page. I, I don't think it looks as well. But when, when Google spiders my account, when they come and crawl my account, um, they'll see the Global Domain International keyword as an H1 right off the bat. Uh, and then as you start this first paragraph, you have to have Global Domain International uh, very quick. Now, I've I've come off with just a sentence and then I go into bullet points. Usually you'll have a paragraph. So, you know, you might say, hey, hello and welcome to my site. 
on this page, we're going to learn everything about global domains international. So you want that keyword in that first paragraph right off the bat. And you also want it in bold. You'll notice I've got it in bold right here. So you want it bold. Uh, and I, I don't usually do this because we're kind of going a little heavy on the keyword saturation. You don't need it that thick at first. I just like the bullet points on when I was doing this page. I've already got a mistake here. I see that. Uh, and then as I come through, and there's all kind of, I mean, SEO, online training, you know, it's a never-ending battle. You're not going to learn everything on this one video. But um, you're going to have to continue your training and your skill set because it does change all the time. 2% uh, I've heard on the um, keyword saturation, and that's how many times the keyword pops up in your page. I just try and make it good content, and then I don't try and load the keyword up too many times. Now, I've got it here on the second page. Here's Global Domains International. Now, really what you need to do here is after you've bolded it, every keyword, every time the keyword is mentioned in your page, italic, put it under italics. And you can also do other things too, um, like for instance, GDI, that should be italics. Because that's, that's a word that's affiliated with Global Domains International. If I'm talking about Global Domains International, I'm going to use some other words and sprinkle them in as well. That's what Google's going to look for too. Um, here it is again here. See, I'm really kind of getting a little heavy on the keyword with this. Um, again, you don't want to go too overboard. And then as you scroll through, here's, you want to have your, your um, again, I've got it in an H2 listing right here. So you want to make sure you have it in another H2 somewhere. You're supposed to have an H1 and an H2. So the keyword comes up as an H1 header and an H2 header once each in your page. I only have, I have twice with an H2. Uh, see, like here's GDI opportunity. That's a keyword that Google would probably pick up on. Again, your keyword, you know, isn't always going to, you know, somebody could type in Global Domains International Program. But yet, your page could rank with just that keyword. Sorry about that. That's my dog. Oliver, shut up. Shut up. Uh, here it is down here again. See, I, I just like to sprinkle it throughout the, uh, you know, maybe another 10, 15 times. Again, I'm just scrolling through. Um, you know, I don't want to saturate my page with uh, that keyword. And I just kind of want to sprinkle it throughout. So you have even, here, or here we got, see, I should have highlighted there, attack that. There it is. <coughs> Oliver. And then here I've got an actually Global Main Domain International, probably a heading three. Um, you also want to have one link, one hyperlink back to another site. So like you'll notice this, the Global Domain International keyword, I've got it in a link right here. So this, this links back to um, a replicated site or even to your sign-up page on GDI. So you want to have that once. And here it is again. So we'll just italic that. And what it is is when you italic or bold a keyword, it makes it easier for the spiders to pick up on that keyword. See, like here's just globe. 
That one could just be italic. Ideally, what you're supposed to do is actually go out and get your keyword, and then you pick up a couple of uh, words that are uh, closely resembling this, and you uh, and you uh, sprinkle those throughout the page too. But man, it 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 can become. And next thing you know, all you're doing is just trying to to get it your page with the right keywords and the right saturation. And so don't focus so much on that. Focus on good content. That's what Google's looking for. Original content, stuff that isn't already out on the internet. So don't copy and paste somebody else's page and stick on yours. And you'll be pretty, you'll be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and we'll finish up on the next one.